B-Link Sur 8 was an impressive mini PC, and now we have the Intel version, the C14. Yes, I'm not spelling it out. Ever. On the outside, it looks the same. But inside, it switches up Team Red for Team Blue, which does make a substantial difference. So just how does the C14 compare to the Sur 8, and has that dreadful wireless range been fixed? Those are both excellent questions that demand answers right now, damn it! But you'll have to wait until right after this message. The EaseUs Data Recovery Wizard app is very simple to use and can help you recover your lost data, whether it's on your internal drive, USB storage, or SD card. It also has support for repairing damaged photos and videos. Check out the free trial in the video description to find out what it can recover on your storage drives. The metal case hasn't changed from the AMD Ryzen variant at all and mimics Apple's mini PCs. Overall, it's a good looking unit with nice build quality. The big difference is Intel's Core Ultra 5 125H CPU inside of it. 14 cores, 18 threads, made up of 4P and 8E cores. For graphics, the latest Intel Arc is thrown into the mix. The Say 14 comes in at $700 US after the coupon on Amazon.com for the 1TB SSD 32GB RAM combo. That makes it one of the pricier minis around and $50 US above the Sur 8. In the box is a power supply and HDMI cable. This is the same chunky power supply I received with the B-Link Sur 8, but in the comments of that video, it was mentioned that the North American model comes with a more compact PSU. Lucky you, or is it unlucky us? Both. Even though the Sa14 and Sur 8 are using completely different CPUs, the port selection is exactly the same. The front has two USB 3 10 gigabit, one is USB-C, and only supports data and nothing else. The back has two USB 2, another USB 10 gigabit, display port, HDMI, and USB 4. These last three ports mentioned can all be used for displays and all handle above 4K 60Hz, with the HDMI being the lowest at 4K 120Hz maximum. For networking, there's Intel 2.5 gigabit LAN and Intel Wi-Fi 6 AX200. With the Sur 8, I had wireless range issues with both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. This one is definitely better. Bluetooth range has gone from bad to okay. Wi-Fi range on this Mini is also much better. This test is 12 meters or 39 feet away using the 5G band. With my Sur 8 Mini PC, it was so bad it disconnected from the game client. This time there's the rare ping and connection issues, nothing major but other mini PCs have passed this test without any network connection notifications at all. But overall, a big improvement. Now, let's take a look inside. B-Link's new range of minis have these horrid rubber screw covers which are a mission to remove without damaging them. Good luck with that. Once they're out, four screws and pull on the rubber. More screws, and there's a nice chunky heatsink for the two Gen 4 M.2 drives. Air is pulled in from underneath the Mini, also cooling the RAM, and then it's vented out the rear. It's a good cooling setup. Windows 11 Pro is included, and there's no malware on the OS drive. And there were no hardware issues using Ubuntu off a USB. Since the price is close between the Say 14 and Sur 8, we might as well compare them. The Sur 8 beats it in single core Cinebench by almost 8%. Interestingly, increasing the power limit did not improve the single core score like it did with the Minis Forum. But it did improve for multi core, and it's still behind the Sur 8 even with the power limit increased. Comparing the default scores, the Sur 8 is up 23%. Here's Geekbench single core, which shows a 19% increase for the Sur 8. And in multi-core, if we go by the default values again, the Sur 8 is just over 11% ahead. The H.264 video encoding test mimics the Cinebench results, just with a closer margin. And the Sur 8 has a commanding lead in AV1 software encoding. One area Intel's Core Ultra 5 beats AMD's higher-end chips is in AV1 hardware encoding, so that's something. 3D mark numbers are interesting and come back a lot better than the Minis Forum unit. Still behind the Sur 8, but a large increase in both DX11 and DX12 where Intel reigns supreme as the winner of Time Spy. 
Too bad Time Spy isn't a game, and these results don't represent gaming reality. All these AMD minis will still outperform the Say 14 when it comes to gaming workloads. In Steel Nomad Lite, we see a good score again, but this time behind the AMD CPUs with 780M graphics. Now we're checking out the included NVMe drive result. Just an OK Gen 4 drive with average sequential read and write speeds. Alright, let's pit the two B-Link Mini PCs against each other in a bunch of games. Team Blue versus Team Red. And in eSports, the two are pretty evenly matched. It all starts falling apart in AAA games. I'm using native rendering without any upscaling to compare raw performance. The B-Link Sur 8 with the Ryzen 8845HS is far ahead. When it comes to emulation, they're evenly matched using Semu. But the Sur 8 does better with PS3. Race complete. The USB 4 port allows an eGPU to be attached for gaming for some real GPU power. I'm using an RTX 3070 in this example. And of course, one of Intel's big strengths is video editing. The 125H has little problem handling my 4K video project thanks to its hardware video decoder. In the BIOS, the default configuration in turbo options is 54 watts. You can increase that to 65 for better CPU performance at the cost of more fan noise, higher CPU temperature, and power draw. There's also RTC wake settings, custom fan speed configuration, and state after power loss. Both of B-Link's new minis draw more power at idle than the competition, and the Say 14 has the highest at 15 watts. The maximum power draw depends on which power mode you use. It ends up maxing out at under 100 watts or going above it. And that also affects the max CPU temp, which is around 90C. B-Link's Say 14 is one of the quieter mini PCs around, but it doesn't have the best performing fan noise result like it did with my Sur 8 Mini. The SSD inside stays cool. Not surprising after what we saw inside it. So, let's finish this one off. B-Link C14 brings back the nice design from before. Noise levels are lower on average than other minis. While wireless range still isn't great, 
it works on this one where it didn't before. Whether it's been fixed or not on the majority of units is anyone's guess. Testing just one of each mini is not enough of a sample size. However, the price to performance is the biggest issue with the Save 14. Unless you specifically need an Intel CPU, the Sur 8 performs better in most usage cases and saves you 50 bucks. So really, this one needs to be cheaper. The large power supply returns, although as mentioned in the review, this looks to be packed in with the Australian model and not the US one. There's no VESA mounting with this mini and the rubber covering the screws sucks. So there's a clear comparison to help you make a more informed purchase decision. And if you don't need this much processing power but love some peace and quiet, B-Link does have the quietest actively cooled mini PC I've ever used, which you can check out right here. Cheers!